Hello guys and welcome to episode 7 of the top 10 gold series. Today we're taking a look at the gold characters with highest minimum damage of their special too. Once again, the minimum damage of your special attacks is very important because the bonus damage from items is based on it. So in other words, the higher the minimum damage of your special too, the better bonus you're going to get out of items such as the Detusha for example, or any other item that gives you damage boost. And as usual, I have made a detailed video about it, so if you want to learn more on that topic, please be my guest. And again, as usual, you will find all links to the previous episodes down below in the comment section. Also, please be advised that all characters listed in this video are all the way in including update 2.5, so characters released on later stage will obviously not appear here. Anyways, without losing any more time guys, let us jump straight into number 10. Coming in at number 10, with special 2 minimum damage of 42,138, we have two characters. And the first one of them is Trunk, like all the time. Correct, you guessed it, I am talking about Bor Raicho and his high spirit ability. Quite honestly, his special 2 looks pretty funny and it has quite useful debuff, Weaken. A lot of people underestimate Weaken, but in my opinion it is pretty decent defensive debuff which can save your life and reduce drastically the power bar of the enemy if he decides to use his special attacks while weakened, and that is quite useful. And standing right next to Boraicho, sober this time, we have classic Ermac, the Faction Wars exclusive character with the deadly special too. I mean, all you need to do is to make sure that you are exactly next to the enemy before using Ermac special too guys, because otherwise it will simply miss and you're going to lose 2 bars of power. But in case it connects, then this equals a dead enemy in 95% of the cases or at least severely wounded enemy, which is still something. Ranking at number 9, with minimum special to damage of 43,035, we have 5 characters. And the first one to step in is Tiger Fury Goro, the fire loving full armed monster. I still remember the time when Goro was released, it was totally out of nowhere and nobody expected it. And suddenly, two Goros and a Shao Kahn in a single update in MK Mobile. It was just mind blowing, but now after some time the Goros are not the most popular characters in the game because of their sloppy basic attacks, but still if used correctly they are forced to be reckoned with. And again guys, we have a tie in the Kintaro Goro rivalry because the Kitty monster actually has the same minimum damage of his special too, however I feel that I am obliged to say that Kintaro has an edge here because his special too is unblockable which is extremely useful for any ability in the game, plus unlike in Goro's case, here we have a guaranteed fire as a debuff, so Kintaro wins this one, for now. And again, a lady will step in after the monsters, Kobu Jitsu Tanya. A Faction Wars exclusive character whose special 2 can hurt the entire enemy team and it looks pretty awesome, or at least in my eyes. Tanya is one of my favorite characters in the game and I consider her special 2 as quite awesome, even though in the big majority of cases it will be an overkill because her first ability is just as deadly. Sector Triborg is the next character at number 9 on our list. When you think of Sector, two things come immediately to your mind, Fire and Special 1. I mean, you will almost never use his special 2 regardless of the team you put him in, after all, he is designed to be a starter and he is designed to spam his special 1 as much as possible. So his special 2 is good, but again, an overkill. And the last character at number 9 is MK11 Raiden. I know how many people hate his special 1, but all of them should agree that his special 2 is awesome, or at least it is awesome if not blocked by the enemy. And considering his lightning fast basic attacks and the buff he gets from his special attack too, he can get to another special 2 in seconds. This is how great Raiden is. Coming at number 8, with special 2 minimum damage of 43,573, we have classic Sonya. And here is another showcase of a character who never, or let us say, hardly ever uses her special 2. It is quite deadly indeed, but her passive revolves around her special 1 after all. Even though, to be honest, I kind of like the character better while building her gameplay around her special 2. It is just totally devastating. What do you think guys? How do you play classic Sonya? Please let me know down below in the comment section.
Number 7 guys is taken by 4 characters, all having minimum damage of their special 2 of 43,932. And the first one to step in is Scorch Baraka. Interesting thing about his special 2 is that he gets the luck bonus in the middle of it and before the mini game. So in a way, he can use the buff while doing his special 2, which is quite cool, considering the fact that most of the characters will get the buff after the special attack is finished. So consider this anytime when you play Baraka, it can be useful. Combat Cup Johnny is the next character sharing the same damage of his special 2, but the big question here is why would you use his special 2? I mean, it is not bad, not at all, but in the big majority of the cases you won't have to use it. All you need to do is spam special 1 and keep your enemies power drained and snared. And of course, if you are in a mood for a total destruction, his special 2 comes to the rescue. Hanzo Hasashi Scorpion is the third character at number 4 and yet again another showcase of character who doesn't use his special too often even though, heads off, this special attack can destroy easily a fully maxed out diamond, it just deals insane amount of damage and looks pretty dope at the same time, I rest my case. And the last character at number 7 is Cyrox Triborg. Once again, he ranked higher than Sector in terms of damage and this is quite understandable. After all, he is the guy that is supposed to deal the most amount of damage in the Triborg team. Just remember guys, his special 2 can be completely blocked and if this is the case, it will deal almost zero damage. So make sure to never use it if the enemy is blocking. Coming in at number 6, with 44,541 special 2 minimum damage, I give you Combat Cup Sonia. The girl with the creepy smile that can forcefully tag out two characters of the enemy team in less than 3 seconds. Unfortunately for her though, her special 2 can be completely blocked and the debuff not utilized. But hey, nobody is perfect and Sonia is not an exception. Coming in at number 5, with 44,756 special to minimum damage, we have Aftershock Tremor. This is what it takes, guys. You tag Tremor in, he tags the weakest enemy character in, then you unleash Tremor special 2, and then the enemy dies. It is that simple. Nothing else you have to do. This character works as if you have activated the autopilot. And as usual, sometimes you won't even need to use his special 2. I mean, why waste power? Coming in at number 4, we have two characters both sharing minimum special 2 damage of 44,828. And the first one to step in is cosplay Jackie Briggs. Depending on variation, her special 2 can do different stuff and can have different buffs or debuffs, but regardless of her variation, it should never be underestimated because the amount of damage it can deal is just amazing, especially in reptile form. This ability gets unblockable, it is simply stunning. Standing right next to Jackie is MK11 Jade. Her special 2 is literally a killer, and even if you somehow survive it, you will be blind and stunned. So in other words, your chances of surviving it are close to zero. Because if you are stunned, then she can easily use a few basic hits to finish you off. And as I already mentioned multiple times, Jade doesn't really need to use her special 2 in order to send you a message. Sometimes her special 1 and even her basics will be enough if she has managed to dodge a few basic hits in the first place. Vengeful Shinnok is the first guy in our top 3 which is well deserved because his minimum damage of his special 2 is the amazing 45,724. Once again, it was nerfed heavily when he was released and it is still pretty dangerous. Probably the only difference before and after the nerf is that it no longer kills blocking characters. So please guys, make sure to break the block of your opponent before casting the special attack. And the runner-up of the episode with 46,621 special 2 minimum damage is classic Melina. 
Again, she couldn't win and yet she was really close. But after all, she simply cannot always win. There must be characters better than her at some fields, right? Or there must be characters as good as her at specific things. And now I can proudly say that there is one character who has the same minimal damage of his special too, and thus he shares the second place with Melina, MK11 Cabal. MK11 Cabal is one of the best characters in the game, without any doubts. And yes, I am saying characters and not only gold characters. And his special 2 is here to prove that. It is just insanely good. It is unblockable. You can cast it from distance and it has slowest debuff. It is simply mind-blowing. And of course, we shouldn't forget that Cabal actually has also very strong first special attack as well. All we know, a perfect character. But if the usual winners Cabal and Melina are not first, then who is this mysterious character? Let's find out. You are outnumbered. Wow, just wow. Who will expect these guys? Pharaon Ermak, after all these years, is still the character with the highest minimum special to damage, being as high as 47,446. He just outscored the likes of Classic Melina, MK11 Cabal, MK11 Raiden, MK11 Jade, and yet he is an outdated Challenge Gold character released years ago. I have to admit it, I didn't expect that, but also I have to admit that it was a pleasant surprise to me. Seeing characters that old who can still compete stat-wise with newly released ones always make me smile. And this is what Ermac is all about. So should you dust him off? Sure, do it guys, he deserves it. Okay guys, another episode is in the history and this one was surprisingly won by Pharaon Ermac. As usual guys, you can find links to all previous episodes in the description of the video. And if you like what you're seeing, please subscribe to my channel and leave me a like. Thus, you're helping me a lot. See you next time guys. Take care and stay safe. Perfect! Perfect!